Hey everyone, Brian here from Native Instruments. In this tutorial, I'll be going over Complete Control's accessibility features, how to set this up, and basic functionality to get you up and running as quickly as possible. Complete Control offers a set of accessibility features for the visually impaired. These features work with all of the Complete Control keyboards by using Complete Control software, which includes speech output via your computer. In order to activate the accessibility features from the Complete Control keyboard, you will need to have an instance of the plugin Complete Control loaded. I'll be doing this tutorial in Logic, but any DAW that can load plugins, as long as you have Complete Control loaded, you'll be able to take advantage of the accessibility features. I have a new Logic project open, and I will create my first instance of Complete Control. I'll first make sure that I'm selected on a software instrument, and then in the dropdown where I can select my plugins, I'll select AU Instruments, Native Instruments, Complete Control, and then Stereo. Then I'll click Create. If Complete Control is not in your plugins list, make sure that you've installed it via Native Access. After a couple seconds, the Complete Control plugin window will open. To enable the accessibility features, you will first hold the Shift button, which is the top corner button on the left side of the keyboard. You will then press the Mixer button, which is the farthest button on the upper right side of the keyboard. You'll know this feature is engaged when you hear the computer speak back, Accessibility on. Accessibility on. To first learn the button and knob layout of the keyboard, you can turn on Training Mode by double pressing the Shift button again. Training Mode on. Training Mode makes it easy for you to understand the layout of the keyboard. When training mode is active, any button that I press, the name or function of the button is spoken without actually triggering that action. This lets me learn where certain buttons are located like the mixer button, browser, quantize, and more. I'll press a couple buttons on the keyboard so we can hear how this sounds. Mixer, browser, mute, quantize, reset up. Double press the shift button again to turn off training mode. Training mode off. With accessibility turned on, let's start creating some sounds. During this tutorial, when I press buttons, touch knobs, and adjust parameters, the computer will speak back the function or value. I'll first press the browser button, which is the top left button of the collection of six buttons on the right side of the keyboard. Browser. While in browser mode, the eight knobs below the display let me scroll through all of my instruments and my presets. Using the farthest knob on the left, knob 1, I can first search through the different sound categories like drums and percussion or sampled instruments. Category, all categories. Drums and perc sampled instruments. All of the NI instruments are fully integrated with Complete Control and also hundreds of other plugins from different companies like Output, Spitfire, and Heaviosity. Let's scroll down to sampled instruments. The next knob on the right, knob 2, lets me scroll through all of my different instruments from Native Instruments. Each plugin name is spoken back as well. Let's select hybrid keys. Product, all products. Ethereal Earth, hybrid keys. Some plugins utilize knob three for banks. For example, if I have batteries selected, the bank knob lets me select different expansions I have installed and lets me load those kits into battery. Knobs 5 through 8 let me further refine my presets list through filtering. Rather than scrolling through all of my presets in hybrid keys, I can filter my presets based on the type of sound that I'm looking for. As I scroll through, the types attributes are spoken to me. Let's select Synth Lead. Type, all types. Or, piano, plucked strings, reed instruments, synth lead. The next knob to the right are subtypes, such as Classic Mono or Classic Poly. Subtype, Classic Mono, Classic Poly. The next knob is the character attributes, like digital or pads. Character, all character, airy, pride. The final knob on the far right lets me scroll through my presets. You can also rotate the large encoder on the right side of the keyboard to scroll up and down through the presets list. As I scroll through my presets, I hear audio previews so I know what the preset sounds like without actually having to load the instrument. Preset.
You can additionally turn on the option for complete control to speak the name of the preset by holding shift and pressing the fourth button from the left above the displays. Shift. Speak preset on. Angels Breakthrough. Spice World. If you like a preset and want to save it for later, you can do this by holding shift and pressing button 7. Shift. Set favored on. To load the preset, press button 8. You can also push in the large encoder to load the selected preset. Now that the preset is loaded, I can play my keys and will be able to hear some sound. The knobs at the bottom let me adjust the parameters of the instrument. All of the knobs are touch capacitive, so resting my finger on the top will speak back whatever parameter I'm controlling. As I turn the knobs, the parameter value is spoken. Cutoff, 88.8%. Resonance, 0.0%. 0.2%. Brightness, 57.0%. Many instruments have multiple pages of parameters to adjust, so I can press the left or right arrow just to the right of the stop button. Page 2. Page 3. Page 2. Page 1. In addition to controlling the sound parameters, using complete control, you are able to access scales, chords, and art mode. Directly to the right of the shift button is the scale button. When pressed, this activates scale mode. Holding shift and then pressing the scale button lets you adjust the scale settings. Scale on. Shift. Scale edit. You can change the root note of the scale using knob 1. Scale, root note, C. Knob 2 lets you choose different scale banks. Bank, main. Modes, jazz, main. And knob 3 lets you choose the type of scale depending on what bank you have selected. I have main selected for my bank, and I can now choose between scales such as major, minor, or harmonic. Type, major, minor, harmonic minor. Using knob 4, you can change between different key modes. The default map mode will set the keys so no matter what scale you have selected, you will always be playing in key. If you press a note that's not in the scale, the keyboard will automatically pitch the notes up or down so you're always playing in key. Easy mode makes it so that for every scale, you only need to play the white keys. Mode mapped. Easy. My favorite key mode is Learn Mode. Mo learn. This is a great learning tool to learn different scales. Complete Control will only play back notes in the scale. If you press a wrong note, you won't hear any sound. Chords mode lets you play different chords using a single note. Knob 5 lets you choose between harmonizer mode or chord set mode. Chord mode off. Harmonizer. Harmonizer mode lets you play chords such as 135s or 7s. Knob 6 lets you adjust the type of chord, and knob 7 lets you play different inversions of the chord. Type 135, 145. 135. Position root. 1. Root. The other chords mode is chord sets. Mo. Chord set. Use knob 5 to change to chord sets mode. Knob 6 lets you choose between 8 major chord sets or 8 minor chord sets. You can play each note chromatically or jump around the keys to create different chord progressions. Type. Major 1, m minor, minor 3. Directly to the right of the scale button is ARP mode. Pressing the ARP button enables ARP mode, and holding SHIFT plus ARP lets you adjust the arpeggiator parameters. ARP ON, SHIFT, ARP EDIT. The knobs at the bottom let you adjust settings such as the rate, number of octaves, and dynamics. Just like a sound parameter adjustment, what I'm controlling is spoken back. Type up, 
up and down, rhythm, rate, one eight triplet. A cool feature are the ARP presets using buttons five through eight at the top. You have four ARP preset slots that you can quickly switch between and even record these switches as automation. Press one of the slots at the top and use knob three to adjust the rate. ARP preset one eight. Rate one one sixteen dotted. Select another slot and then change the rate again. ARP preset one eight T. Rate one eight tri one six one eight. You can now switch between the different ARP rates using the buttons at the top. ARP preset sequence off. ARP preset one eight. Let's get back to the plugin page by pressing the plugin button that's directly to the right of the browser button. Plugin. You also have the ability to create an effects chain all within complete control. Using button six at the top of the keyboard, you can move over to the next empty slot in the chain and then press the browser button. Slot two, empty slot. Browser. Just like instruments, I'm now able to browse through all of my complete control supported effects. All of the effects from NI are supported in complete control and also NKS effects such as waves or isotope. Knob one lets you filter by category and knob two lets you scroll through all of the different effects. Product, all pro, guitar rig sick, facet, prism, rom. You can also filter for a type of effect that you're looking for using knobs five, six, and seven. Type, reverb, subtype, creative, hall. Knob 8 lets you scroll through the effects presets list, and when you want to make a selection, press button 8 to load the effect. Preset, Arcadia Dream Hall, Basic Synth Hall, Big Room. Once the effect is loaded, you can use knobs 1 through 8 to customize the effect parameters and use the left and right arrow to navigate through the different pages on the effect. Reverb. Size, 32, decay, 15 seconds. If you hold the shift button, you can use button 7 to bypass the effect, or button 8 to remove the effect from the chain. Shift, grounded, bypass plugin off. And hopefully this gives you a better understanding of Complete Control's accessibility features. Thanks for watching.